going for a nice rainy day climb. It's not raining right now. It's really nice out. Uh, found this area with a lot of jack or scotch. I'm horrible at telling the difference. But I think that I just passed the ones that I had scouted. Yeah. Yes, we're going to do these over here. I just uh, signed up for the my first ever arborist comp. And so I'm hoping today, since we have some nice funky jacks, that there'll be some good throw ball practice. And hopefully I'll be able to set up a nice overhang to practice some speed ascending but it's just a beautiful day kind of hanging out by the lake just have some fun better habits <laughs> not rocking a throw cube but now I'm at least using a tote bag that I flake my rope into let's see if I can't do it with the camera watching me how am I gonna be doing it when people are watching me Throw bag is too light. <laughs> I've been using the same Weaver throw line kit for uh, probably close to six years, and it's kind of sad and <laughs> breaks a lot now, but I still do like it. I was just hoping that using using a lighter and nicer throw line like Dynaglide that I'd be able to use a much lighter weight <laughs> just because it terrifies me throwing even these throw bags they're soft-ish but they are moving very fast and I do not like throwing them around people's houses or traffic that's why my throw lining is not as good as it should be because I actually try to avoid it as much as possible because I I just do not like installing lines like this even though it's quite necessary. <laughs> yep, yeah, that's a different weight, that's for sure. Got it eventually. And I got it isolated but it's still going to be just a standard base anchor.
not the harness that I will use for this, but it's what we're doing now, so I'll try to make it quick. Yeah, good enough. This part's gonna suck. <laughs> There's not enough tail for there to be any weight. Now you come. Yeah. Since I climbed above that, I had turned it into a running bowline, and this was just the retrieval line. And I didn't, I had my backup knot untied, and when I wasn't looking, it tied itself in a knot before it went through the bowline. Oh my god. Of course, the part I don't record, I hit my first shot, which was a lot lower and easier but of course I hit the first shot and get my canopy anchor set easily with an alpine butterfly <laughs> let's go do an aerial rescue of the rest of my rope oh my goodness look at that mess up there Whew. can he footlock Sort of. Not really, though. So close. 
I'll get you. Can't believe it did that. Oh, it tied a knot up and around itself. Oh my goodness, can't believe that. Ridiculous. This is a beautiful, beautiful climb, except for all the rope complications at the end there. Took a little bit of problem solving, I was just Glad that I didn't have to walk back to my car to get another rope, but glad that that was available if that's what I needed. I remember uh, when I first started trying to climb big trees, I only had one throw line and one throw ball, and uh, I would get it stuck. I got it stuck real bad once, and uh, since I didn't have anything else, and it was like 35 to 40 feet to the first branch, I just ended up like trying to like lanyard ladder my way up the tree just cinching lanyards on top of each other and that took forever so I'm glad I'm past that but definitely not perhaps competition ready especially since I haven't been doing actual tree work for six years I've been climbing trees for six years so I've been doing the throw line part for six years but <laughs> It is a little upsetting how still not good I am at it, but I don't know. I'm excited about the other events. I think I'd probably survive the rest of them, but <laughs> throw linings gonna be bad. <laughs> but maybe not, who knows? Maybe I'll get lucky. <sighs> oh God. <laughs> Maybe I should get a throw cube and not a tote bag. Well, I will see you guys later.